in that 30 day period, your hormones are coming and going and knowing how to time your lifestyle to where those hormones pulse in and out is going to have a dramatic effect on your mental and your physical health. On this video, we're gonna be talking about hormones and how to match your lifestyle to balance your hormones. And the topic is complicated, I know, so I'm doing my best to keep it simple. But if you wanna know how to put this into action, join me in my May Reset, where I'm gonna take you through an experience that will help you customize your lifestyle to your hormonal needs. Just put May Reset in the comments and we'll make sure we give you a link. Okay. So I want to talk about hormones, but I want to talk about it from a perspective of what you probably never hear about hormones. In mainstream society, we are really taught that hormones are to be villainized. That's the way I see it, is that if our hormones are acting up, we should medicate them to control them. I want to offer you a different perspective. So in this video, we're going to talk about four things you may have never been taught about hormones. So first thing, how you react to your environment, to your everyday life can often be because of your hormonal swings. So for example, when you are going through certain times of your cycle or you're going through menopause, as progesterone goes down, if you don't have enough progesterone, you might find yourself more anxious and more irritable. And then somebody comes into your environment and you catch yourself angry with them. You catch yourself reacting poorly to them. You think it's the person that did it, but in reality, it was your hormonal imbalance that caused you to react differently to that person or that situation. We live in a culture where we have been taught that we need external situations to be perfect in order for our internal be a motivation and moods and behaviors to be feel okay. But I wanna give you a different perspective that when you change your hormonal balance, when you get your hormones in sync with each other, you actually will start to see your outside world differently. So step number one is your behaviors, your moods, and your motivation is controlled by what neurochemically is going on inside of you. It is not because of the outside world, it's because of the inside world. Step number two, these hormones are moving targets. So it's not like with fasting where we turn switches on the longer we fast. Hormones are different. They're pulsating. They're sending signals to each other and they come in little spurts and they come different hormones are coming at different times of your life and at different moments in your 30 day cycle. So I want you to first start to understand what the different hormones do. For example, Estrogen gives you mental clarity. It allows, gives you the gift of gab. It makes your hair feel full and your skin look plump and it makes you feel very social. Progesterone, it calms you and it gives you a sense of security and makes you feel maybe like you wanna just hang out inside and, and hunker down on the couch and watch a Netflix series. So progesterone is the calming hormone. And testosterone is obviously a lot of people know it is your libido, it gives you your sex drive, but it also gives you your motivation. So when you're not feeling motivated, it may be because you have low progesterone. When you're not feeling social, maybe your estrogen is either at its lowest in the 30 day cycle, or maybe you, your estrogen is, is low because you're going through menopause. When you're feeling anxious, you might be feeling anxious not because of the circumstances around you, but because you're missing progesterone. So these are, they control your moods and behaviors, but they're moving targets that are pulsing in and out at different times of your life and in a 30 day cycle. So I want you to get to know these hormones so you can recognize when they show up and when they go away. Okay, number three, point number three that I wanna to make to you is that your hormones are dictated by your lifestyle. And there are five things that will dictate your lifestyle or your, hormone, your hormonal impact on your lifestyle. So these five things you wanna keep in, in sync and I wrote about them in the menopause reset. One, when you eat, we talk about fasting all the time on here, 
Estrogen imbalances make you insulin resistant. So change how often you're eating. Shorten your eating window, elongate your fasting window, and you're gonna start to see that estrogen balances better. Second thing is all the carbs that you are eating. Where There's a common uh, phrase that's becoming quite popular right now called carb cycling. When you cycle in and out of different carb load days, mix that with some keto days, and then you mix that with some protein load days, when you do this type of variation, you can start to balance not only testosterone, but you can balance progesterone and estrogen. Step number three is that just because you are making hormones doesn't mean that you're using hormones. So you need to have your liver and your gut be nicely healthy and balanced so that you can break these hormones down and get them into the cells so you can use them. Number four point of your lifestyle is that your toxins matter. So when you lather your face up with beauty products that are high in estrogen, you start to throw your estrogen balance off and now progesterone starts to tank and you start to see a, a change in the sex hormone effects in your body. And then number five is my favorite one to quote. It's called the rushing woman syndrome. Dr. Libby Weaver uh, is the one that coined this term and that is what stress is doing to affecting all of your hormones. So once you see that your behaviors and your moods and your motivation is a hormonal issue and you start to see that these hormones are pulsing in and out, the next step is to go, okay, my lifestyle is going to either encourage these hormones to show up at the right time or it's going to tank these hormones, which is gonna leave my behavior and my moods in a worse place. Which brings me to my last step, step number four, that you are going to want to create habits and your lifestyle around what your hormonal needs are. If you're a woman that has a 30-day cycle, you get estrogen in the first half of your cycle. So go into more fasting, go into more keto in the first half of your cycle, you will maximize estrogen. When you go into ovulation in the middle of the cycle, you've got a ton of estrogen, but you gotta use it. So eat more foods that are probiotic rich and polyphenol packed so that you can feed that microbiome so it can start to break down estrogen. You've also got a lot of testosterone in that middle ovulation period. This is a great time to start a workout plan or to start lifting weights to build muscle because testosterone comes in in spades. And then at the back half of your cycle, the week before your period, you need to make progesterone. This is when you gotta chill out. This is when you gotta keep stress at bay. This is when you're gonna need to nurture yourself a little more. So in, uh, for an, a woman with a regular cycle, in that 30 day period, your hormones are coming and going and knowing how to time your lifestyle to where those home hormones pulse in and out is going to have a dramatic effect on your mental and your physical health. So the, the most important thing is to be aware of what these hormones are doing for you. So last thing I wanna point that I wanna make out is there are one, two, three, three, real three, maybe let's say four little pieces of your lifestyle I want you to think about when you're looking at your hormonal map. You wanna look at the best time to time your food. You wanna look at the right time to time your fast. Even your exercise should shift as your hormones shift. Uh, sleep patterns should shift and the way that you approach stress should shift. So I want to start to have these conversations with you guys because if you dial this in, not only will you be healthy and happy, but you will prevent disease. So hormones matter, lifestyle matters, timing those hormones and those lifestyle become crucial. So just starting this conversation with you, this is something we're not talking about in our culture enough, so I'm bringing it here to you on this, on this channel. If you wanna learn how to put this into action, come join me in my May Reset. I am taking women of all different ages and I am showing you how to time fasts, how to time your keto variations, how to feed your microbiome, what you should be doing workout wise, how to use some mindfulness techniques that will all be mapped to your hormones. 
It doesn't matter if you're a, 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 ga a girl that just went through puberty or you're a postmenopausal woman. This is a skill that you need to know how to implement for yourself, not only again to prevent disease, but to bring health and happiness back to your body. So if you want to join me in my May Reset, just put May Reset in the comments and my team will come in and give you the link so that you can join us there. But don't give up on yourself. A lot of times your frustration, your anxiety is because of your hormones. And when you time your lifestyle to this, you can start to change the circumstances around you and live a healthier and happier life. Hope that helps.